Welcome to the CA Plan Analyzer for DB2 for ZOS video about how to identify access path changes and SQL cost changes. Today we'll explore a use case where one database administrator uses CA Plan Analyzer to determine whether changing an object impacts or access paths and SQL costs. We'll summarize what we covered and learn where to find more information. Lynn Parker is the DBA at Nordol Industries. Lynn created an index that's designed to improve query performance against the department's table. She'll use CA Plan Analyzer to verify that the performance improvements exist before she rebinds the packages. Lynn prepares to complete the following tasks. First, she'll review the prerequisites. Next, she'll identify the packages to explain and then execute an explain strategy. Finally, she'll compare the access paths. Lynn verifies that she has the security authorizations to perform this process. For this use case, Lynn requires the authorization to perform an explain plan and an explain package. CA Plan Analyzer detects access path changes by using the current explain results as a baseline and comparing these results against the future explain results. The current explain uses the access path that was created by the DB2 optimizer and written to the explain tables when the package was last bound and matches the bind time. The future explain executes a dynamic explain command which invokes the DB2 optimizer to determine what your access paths would be were you to bind or rebind the package right now. The product then compares the current and future explain results and generates the compare reports. Lynn has several options when it comes to setting up her access path comparison. She can create a custom configuration, use the CA defined explain profiles, or template and modify the CA defined profiles. Lynn reviews the options and decides that the CA defined explain profiles meet her needs. By using these profiles, she eliminates several steps from the access path comparison process. The at compare base explain profile generates the baseline reports required for access path comparison and saves the explain output to the CA defined at compare base auto H version definition in the historical database. The at compare after explain profile contains all the options to execute a future explain and generates the reports that are required for comparing the access paths and SQL costs from the current explain results against the future explain results. This profile saves the explain output to the CA defined at compare after auto H version definition. Next, Lynn creates an explain strategy. This strategy contains the packages that she wants to explain. The results are saved as a version of the strategy and, because Lynn is using the CA defined explain profile, are saved to the database automatically and stored in the at compare base auto H version definition. Lynn begins at the CA Plan Analyzer main menu. She types an ES in the command line to select the Explain Strategy Services option and presses Enter. The Explain Strategy Services panel displays. Lynn creates a strategy. She types the letter C in the command line and names her strategy NORCOMP. For the description, she types New Index Analysis. In the Share Option field, she types a value of Y which allows other users to explain or browse her strategy. Next, Lynn presses Enter. The Explain Strategy Regular Mode panel displays. Lynn reviews the header and panel fields. She verifies that the Profile field remains blank. As noted earlier, Lynn is going to use the CA defined at compare base profile, which will specify when she explains her SQL sources. Lynn has grouped her packages into collections all prefixed with COL, so she types COL percent sign in the call ID field. Next, Lynn verifies that the selection list is set to Y and she sets the change options to N for no. She presses enter. The explain catalog data panel displays. Lynn types an S in the line command field next to the names of the collections that she wants to explain and presses enter. A message displays indicating that her collection ID is queued. Instead of shrinking the queue, Lynn presses F3 and the Explain Strategy source list appears. She confirms that the collections that she selected are added to her Explain Strategy and presses F3 to return to the Explain Strategy Services panel. 
Now Lynn is ready to execute her explain strategy. Lynn types an E for execute next to the NORCOMP strategy and presses enter. She types at sign CMPBASE in the profile field, leaves the identifier field blank, and types baseline analysis in the description field. She verifies that N is specified for each of the options fields and presses enter. A message displays confirming that the explain profile options in at compare base will be used for the explain. Lynn presses enter two more times to process her explain online. The explain executes and the output displays. Lynn scrolls down and quickly confirms that the SQL code returned for each package is plus zero. Lynn presses F3 and returns to the explain strategy services panel. Lynn is ready to execute her strategy again. This time, she will apply the at compare after profile to the strategy. CA Plan Analyzer will execute a future explain, save the results to a different version of the NORCOMP explain strategy, and compare the results against her current explain. The comparison will reveal the impact of the index on Lynn's packages and help her verify whether rebinding her packages is the right decision. Lynn is back at the Explain Strategy Services panel. She notes that a new version of her strategy is saved below the main Explain Strategy. To create another version of the strategy, Lynn types an E next to NORCOMP and presses Enter. She types at sign CMP AFTR in the profile field, leaves the identifier field blank, and types after index create in the description field. She verifies that N is specified for each of the options fields and presses enter. A message displays confirming that the explain profile options in at compare after will be used for the explain. Lynn presses enter two times to process her explain online. The explain executes. As she scrolls through the output, which compares the access path results from the first and second explains, Lynn makes the following observations. In Collection Coal Department, Package Department 1 continues accessing the Departments table by using an inefficient table space scan, confirming the problem that Lynn had noticed earlier. In the New Access Path Analysis section of the report, Lynn notes that the access path is using her new index and she observes a reduction in cost. Lynn sees more improvements when she reviews the analysis results for packages from the call sale collection. For example, she observes that the DB2 optimizer used a different index to access the departments table during the future explain, which helped contribute to a significant reduction in SQL costs. In both examples, the new access path analysis section of the report indicates that the DB2 optimizer is using Lynn's new index. Today, Lynn used CA Plan Analyzer to verify that her new index improved the performance of her queries, and she did this before rebinding her packages. Now that she's confirmed the new index will have a positive impact on query performance, Lynn can perform her rebinds with confidence. Additional resources are available, including the product documentation, CA database management for DB2 and IMS community, and CA technical support. For more information, See the CA Plan Analyzer documentation at docops.ca.com. Thank you for viewing this video. This concludes the training on the CA Plan Analyzer process for identifying changes to access paths and SQL costs.